What's up, y'all? Mike here, and I'm coming back with another devotional from the last week. And this one, I'm looking at Proverbs 18:13. It says this: "To answer before listening, that is folly and shame." And I think this is something that we all know. This poignant truth from the Book of Proverbs that listening is important, but the lack of listening that is folly and shame. And I think the problem is we enter into conflict a lot of times with the script. Meaning that we know exactly what we're going to say in order to win. We know our, our arguments. We know our, our defense. And without even listening to the other person. It's like whatever they say doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. But when we do that, the Proverbs said that's folly and shame. we got to listen. We're not there to win. We're there, we're there to, to love and to, to you know, find resolution, find reconciliation, whatever it might be. We need to listen. And what's more problematic is what happens next. It says this in verse 14, The human spirit can endure in sickness, but a crushed spirit who can bear. And I think when we fail at listening, we're crushing the spirit of others. When we're focused on winning and, and defending ourselves, it's easy to, we will crush the spirit of others. When we act out of anger, we will crush the spirit of others. But the remarkable thing about Jesus is that he was angry, but in his anger, he had compassion and grace. Can you say the same? I know a lot of times in my life I can't. It's hard to have compassion and grace when I'm angry. But, you know, with, with anger, you know, without grace, we will cut people down. We will... We will destroy, we will damage, but with grace, anger can be a powerful motivator if we listen and we, we act in grace and compassion with love. It's, anger is a positive thing. It's, it's to protect, it's to preserve, it's to, it's to restore. That's kind of the purpose of anger here. And so let us not fall into folly and shame. Let us be quick to listen and slow to speak. Well, God bless you all. Let's get after it this week.